Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. If you don't already know who it is, it's the one and only, the true Alex J. Today I'm going to be giving you 11 business ideas for teenagers slash children. Number one, you can do pet daycare. Now a lot of parents or adults, they have to go to work. Um, and because of that, they haven't got time to look after their pets, um, especially if they're new pets or if they're just naughty pets. Um, it's a great business to get into. You can basically just go around there and look after their animal for the day and make sure that the dog or cat doesn't destroy everything in that house. So it's a really great business. Um, you can charge various amounts depending on your location. Um, inner cities, obviously you'll earn more money than people outside of the cities. Um, but a good idea would obviously be to keep your prices low and that way you're gonna be able to get more of those jobs. Um, this, this kind of business is great for people that are at college or maybe university um, and just looking for that a little bit of extra cash. Um, if you're younger than that, if you're a child, then I'd recommend speaking to your parents first um, about doing this because it's probably not a good, good idea that you go around to strangers' houses. Number two. Uh, dog walking. Now, obviously, this is a big business. Um, you can, again, you can go around to your local area, find all the people that have dogs, the dog owners. Um, and again, this is usually better in the inner cities than the outer cities because they're more busy um, and they don't have the time to go and walk the dog. So, again, you're able to do a dog walking business. You pick them up in the morning, usually like five or six in the morning. You walk them around, you do the lap, and then you put the dog uh, back into the house. You can do more than one. Um, it's a good idea that you speak to the owners and find out if that dog is good with other dogs, uh, because if not, then you might not be able to walk 10% of the same time. You might have to walk um, that one on its own, in which case you might have to charge more money compared to the other dog owners. So you need to, again, if you're quite young, I'd recommend speaking to your parents. Um, if you're a college or university or just a little bit older, then obviously go for it. Um, all you really need to do is just scour your local area, find the dog owners. You can even go around knocking on the doors, to be honest. Um, and find out the dog owners and then obviously you can approach them with your business concept. Number three, grooming of animals. Now if you're quite young this is great to do with your parents at home. Um, if you're at college or university or a little bit older then this is great just for you to do on your own. You can do dog or cat grooming. Uh, now I wouldn't recommend shaving the animals unless you're qualified to do so but what you can do is you can clean them and just clean the fur. Now again, the reason that I wouldn't recommend shaving them is in case you do it wrong, you don't want to accidentally cut the animal, um, especially if you're using a razor blade, you, you don't want to go down that. Uh, or if you cut it wrong and then they want to sue you because you did all the, uh, you know, you hurt the animal. So trust me, don't hurt the animal. So the best thing to do would just be to offer a cleaning service. Um, you can take the dog around to your house, you can clean it in the bath, or you can do it at their home. Again, dependent on the arrangement. Uh, but let's say you take it to your house, you, all you need really is dog shampoo. Um, and if they've got ticks, and this is really, really important, if they've got things like ticks and stuff like that, again, you need to be careful. Um, make sure that they don't get around your house because that'd be gross. Um, clean the animal, um, remove all that, and even tick removal is a big, big business. So again, dog grooming is a fantastic business for you to start if you're quite young. Number four. Now, this isn't usually talked about, but worm breeding. That sounds crazy, but there's a lot of bait shops, the fishing shops, that need a fresh supply of worms constantly and there's a lot of fishermen that also need worms so it's a great business for you to be in if you know how to breed worms you can breed a lot of worms and then obviously you can give those off to um, the bait stores the fishing stores and sell them directly to the fishermen as well um, and there's quite a bit of money to be made in it it's definitely not something that you would be able to do full-time unless you know it's a huge operation um, which I've never seen personally, but it is something that you can make a lot of money doing and it's something that you can do part-time. It's not that difficult. Uh, if you just have a little Google around, you'll see that it is a business and that you can definitely get involved in. Number five, Etsy. Um, it's a website where you're able to sell handmade jewelry. Um, so what you can do is you can make your own bracelets and this is a great, great, great um, idea for all ages. It doesn't matter if you're a child, in college, or even it really doesn't make any difference. Even if you're really old, it doesn't make any difference. It's a great website where you can sell handmade jewelry. So if you're younger, you can make like the friendship bracelets or you can make the necklaces or like headbands or anything like that. And if you're a bit more skilled or a little bit older, um, you can make like jackets. Um, you, can, you can sew them yourself. Um, you could come up with uh, like brand new bathrobes. You can come out with um, maybe more complicated bracelets or necklaces, your own designs with different color string and all that kind of stuff. I'm not really an arts and crafts person, <laughs> but it's definitely something that you can get into, especially if you love arts and crafts, then this is a great business 
for you. Number six, now again, this is for college and university people and, and people a little bit older, you can do kids' parties. Um, whether you're a clown or whether you're organising it or whether you're doing singing um, or whether you're um, doing the decorations or the organising or doing the food catering, there's a lot that you can do inside of kids' party. You can be a DJ, so there's a lot that you can do. I definitely, definitely, definitely would recommend looking into kids' parties. Find out how many kids are in your local area, how many of them would hire um, a, someone to be at the party again. Would they hire a singer or would they hire a caterer and so on and so forth? What are the kind of prices that they're going for? How much money can you make? Um, how many birthdays? Yeah, because you need to find out how many birthday, uh, kids' birthdays they are um, in the year. Um, you know, if there's quite a lot, then it's a great business. If there's only like three or four kids in your area, then it's probably going to be a bit more difficult. So it's definitely something to have a look at. Um, and again, there's quite a lot of money in it. Seven, you can do a bake sale. Now, this is great um, for the whole family to get involved in, really. Um, again, it doesn't really matter on your age. Uh, if you're younger, definitely get your parents to help out because you shouldn't be using an oven on your own. Um, and if you're older, college, uni, or older, then again, this is something that's great for you. Um, you can just cook different cakes, or you can make um, pastries, or you can make um, bread, or you, you can make absolutely anything. Uh, but the idea is that it's, a, it's something to do with cooking. You're cooking whether it be food, you, you cook anything. It can be pasta, it can be bread, um, it can be candy, it can be absolutely anything. But the idea is that you cook and you can either sell it to individuals um, or you can set up outside of a school. Uh, if you're allowed, by the way, you need to look into the law within your local area. Um, but you can sell food outside of your home, you can sell it on the interstate, you can sell it um, you know, on the corner, you can sell it outside of a school, outside of a university. If you're in university or college, you can probably sell it inside. Again, you need to look at the rules and regulations um, on the ground that you are because if it's inside of a college or a university, then it's privately owned property, so you need to find out the laws there as well. But it's definitely a great business that you can get involved in. And uh, again, there's quite a bit of money in uh, making, especially if you're good at it. Um, <laughs> you definitely want to be good at it though. Number eight. Now this is something that I personally did when I was a lot younger. You can do car cleaning. Um, it's great because most people nowadays have cars. Um, what I personally would do, and I was going around, I was knocking on loads of doors and I'd say, hey, um, do you want your cars cleaned? And I would do this in the afternoons. I'd usually do it on a weekend, like a Saturday, um, when I wasn't at school. So I'd go around, I'd knock on all the doors, say, hey, do you want your car cleaned? It's like, I think I did like $5 for a small car, $10 for a big car, um, and it was great, you know, um, when I started to get my grounds and people got to know me, I get I got more and more regular customers, which was awesome, I was making more and more money, and then I started getting my friends involved because there was too many cars and too many customers, so my friends would come with me and we'd all go around the neighborhood cleaning all these cars, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, probably not a good idea to do in the winter, but it's definitely great to do in the summer. So again, this is something that you can get involved in and it's something that you can get your friends involved in as well. Not so great if you're super young, but it is working really well uh, if you're, say, in high school, or, or like middle school or high school, um, or in college or uni. Number nine, you can do window cleaning. Window cleaning is great. Everyone has windows. Um, <laughs> just go around to your local area. You can knock on the door and say, hey, uh, would you like me to clean all your windows? Um, you know, it's like $4 or whatever. Go around, clean all the windows. Um, again, if you're quite young, probably not good for you. Teenager, fantastic. Older than teenager, again, another fantastic business. All you're doing is going around and cleaning the windows. It's not that difficult. Just make sure that you're cleaning them properly uh, because if you just clean it with water and it will dry, it will leave water, uh, water stains on the window. It's the same with the car. So you've got to make sure that you don't just uh, that you don't just clean it, but you make sure it's dry afterwards as well. And that way it won't leave any watermarks. Uh, offer them discounts if they hire you more than once. Um, and if you get a good reputation, it becomes a lot easier. And if your pricing is good, you're gonna be able to do a lot of windows. And you can then start bringing in your friends and scale that business up. Number 10, you can do gardening, and this is absolutely great. This is a great business to be involved in. Um, all you're doing is cutting lawns, cutting trees, cutting bushes. Um, you could be digging up the lawn, you could be mowing the lawn. There's so much that you can do inside of people's gardens. And most people don't really want to do their own gardens. And that's why it's a great business to be in, because there's so much opportunity in it. Most houses have a garden nowadays, unless you're in a city. If you're out of the city, it works really well. Um, so you can go around and you can help people with their gardens. Uh, mow their lawns, you know, cut the hedges and all that kind of stuff. Again, if the pricing is right, you're going to do really well. This is a better business for the summer than it is the winter, um, but I have a suggestion for the winter folks in just a moment. Number 11. 
you can clean snow. Now, I don't mean you get the snow and then you clean it down, not like that, but what I mean is that you can um, clear the snow off people's driveways. Um, now, this works really well in places like Canada, um, where the snow is super crazy high. You go out with your shovel and manually get rid of all the snow. Now this is a fantastic business to be in, um, especially if you've got a lot of old people in your local area, because old people, they can't go out in the snow. They can't go near the cold. There's different ways to charge for it. You can even charge per hour or per driveway. Uh, me personally, it depends what country you're in. If there's a lot of snow, like it's really high, then you're probably gonna wanna charge per hour. Um, <laughs> because there's gonna be a lot. If you're gonna be doing it via driveway, then you've got to make sure that you work out how quickly you can clean a driveway. Um, you know, is it gonna take you 30 minutes or is it gonna take you an hour? Like, how quick can you do it? And then obviously the aim of the game is to keep speed but quality at the same time, to get the driveways cleaned as quickly as you can, whether it be using salt or whether it be using a shovel or a combination of the two, or if you've got one of them machines where you can just cut through. By the way, those are really cool. Cut through all of the snow, remove all of that, and then obviously you're making quite a few bucks there as well. So this is definitely a great business to do in the winter time. It's winter right now, so if you're watching this, winter is coming, and so is the money. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. These were the 11 business ideas for teenagers and children. Um, I really hope you did like it. Please make sure to like, comment, please make sure to share this video with anyone that you think will find this useful. And please make sure to also hit the subscribe button. I've got a lot of videos on my channel. I've got even more coming every single day. Look forward to speaking to you guys again soon. But in the meantime, peace.